So Mary told me that the cheese all starts with the animals. And I have Mary's husband Dave here to tell me about the animals. So what is this path? Well, this is where the animals come um, to go back to the barn um, every milking. Uh, right now, this is the area we're grazing. Uh, I would say this is a 40 acre piece that will re rotationally graze. When we go through the woods, you'll see the different uh, areas where we have grazed and where we will be grazing. And we come and get them before milking and bring them back after milking. Now on hot days like this, they'll, they'll come right in here in the shade and oh, stay. Look at them. And this is just part of them. I don't know where the rest of the sheep are. They're all huddled together. Yeah, they urinate in one area and the ammonia actually will help keep the, the flies away. The wool acts as a insulator in the winter and it also acts as an insulator in the summer so it does help keep them cool. When they're laying there chewing their cud like this one, uh, they're chewing their cud, they look very content. They have water around the other side. So in this area, <laughs> about 12 years ago, when Andy was seven years old, we were coming through here at bringing the sheep back and the dog spooked them behind us and ran over us and it was after dark. Andy had the flashlight. All I could see was that flashlight just shaking down there. So I jumped down on him and covered him up and we got trampled by 140 sheep. And Andy still tells that story because he, he, he says, the only thing that happened to me is I hurt my little pinky. Come on. Come on, sheep. I have two guardian dogs with these sheep. There's about 100 sheep in here. Uh, they're pups, but they're able to handle this because the other dogs at night will patrol up here also. We could not have sheep if we didn't have the dogs. Did you breed these dogs or? Yeah, yeah, these, these are dogs that were born and raised on, on this farm. Come on, Sophie. Okay. They're, they're doing their job. It's very, yeah, protective. Well, first of all, a little history on the Spanish Ranch Mastiff. To my knowledge, before 2002, there were none in the United States that I know of. And Mary and I went to Spain and picked up her grandparents. And uh, they've been excellent dogs. What they'll do is they do not attack, but they will retreat to the sheep and the last resort will be to fight. But they do an excellent job on keeping coyotes away, um, uh, neighbors, or neighborhood dogs, if there's a problem with that. Uh, bear, um, bear hate the dogs. So how do you get them to hang out with the lambs like this? Well, even before they're born, uh, we'll put wool in uh, where the mother lays down. So she'll be bringing in the scent of the lanolin and the scent of the sheep. Uh, so the, the pups actually in the womb will be imprinted. They can smell, or, they they'll, can they'll, smell well, it? Well, they'll start the imprinting, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. And of course, when they're born, then they're immediately on the wool. And as soon as they're big enough where they will not be injured, we put sheep in with them. Basically, they're a dog that thinks they're a sheep with teeth. <laughs> so you get milk for the cheese from both sheep and cows? Correct. Let's go see the cows. All right. Hey, pecan. Hi, pecan. They're like pets. Oh, hi. How are you? This one is Blossom. Is a round head because Hi. when she was a little calf, I raised all these guys from ca from calves. She had just a perfectly round head. This is my favorite cow. This is Sugar, and she is half Jersey, half Scottish Highlander. And she has horns. Yes, so that comes from the Highlander. There you go. Now you don't have to be scared of the horns, but you always have to be aware of them. Gotcha. <laughs> She'll never hurt you on purpose, but she does swing her head around. So what makes the cows so healthy? Well, it's their diet, um, the different grasses. Even though if it looks like there's a lot of grass left, um, the best grass has been taken. So what we'll do then is I'll come in and clip the grass, and that eliminates competition so the good grasses can grow back up. How long will it be before you move back to this spot, you think? I'll take a cutting of hay here before I come back, so it'll probably be next spring. 
And you said that the sheep will eat what the cows won't? Yeah, they, they make good companions in a pasture because they, um, they don't share the same taste for the grass. The cows will eat grass that's a lot older and starchier, whereas the sheep like the younger, um, more tender grass. See, this is the stuff the sheep like right here. And then the cows will eat stuff like this, whereas the sheep won't. That's orchard grass and clover. The sheep or the cows like the clover? Well, they'll both eat the clover, but I think the sheep will eat the smaller clover and the cows eat the bigger clover. So that's why they, they companion up nice. And that will give you a real sweetness in your milk. It's amazing how each cow knows its order. Very seldom do they come in in a different order. Like the next cow should be pecan. We milk six cows. Takes me about 45 minutes to milk the six. I'm, I don't really hurry through too fast. I originally got these cows because I was gonna have a, a beef herd. <laughs> so they're, this cow I'm milking now is a half Angus, half Jersey. And she'll give about four, four gallons of milk a day, which I think is very good for, for this breed. Um, we also have some that are uh, half Jersey, half Scottish Highlander, and their butter fat is really high. We started milking them because we had a uh, lack of sheep milk last year, and so we needed more milk. And uh, we liked it so much, our customers liked the cheese, so we went ahead and we went ahead and kept milking them. They're a very tame, very friendly cow. It's a perfect example of the flavors of northern Wisconsin. They graze on the grasses, which, and not just grass, but wildflowers. And older grasses are very herbal flavored. And um, when they do that, they bring all those flavors together through their milk, which comes out in the cheese. Thank you.